Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. I'm Kelsey and I'm so glad you're here. I wanted to share the highlights of our second keto support group that we started. We held our second meeting on the coldest day of winter. Yeah, it was two degrees and uh, like the wind chill was in the negative teens or something like that. So it was a really cold day, um, but we still had like I think we had eight people that showed up, with, including myself, so that was a pretty good group. Um, we're really excited about how it's going. I just wanted to talk about the highlights about what we went over during the meeting. So the first thing we talked about was um, our church's day of fasting and prayer. We just kind of talked through how people had been um, dealing with that day. Um, we are trying to improve our fasting muscles, um, so it was actually kind of interesting timing for the church to call a day of fasting and prayer. Um, so it was interesting and exciting to talk to everybody about how their fasts went and how long they went and how they got through the day. Um, so that was encouraging to have um, a group fast set up for a particular day. So, so during the meetings, I think my plan is to kind of highlight one small thing that I've learned on podcasts or from like another YouTube channel, you know, having to do with the keto diet or fasting or something like that. Um, so as I've said previously, I have been listening to the Fasting Method podcast by Megan Ramos. Um, it's been really great. I started from the very beginning and have been doing every episode. So I um, heard an episode um, talking about how we, talking about terms, okay? So when we're prioritizing our health, um, we, there are reasons why we're doing this and it's important to stay focused. Um, but I think in today's society, it's just really common to tell ourselves, treat yourself. It's okay to treat yourself. We're gonna go out for a treat, we deserve this. I have, you know, we've been in confinement from COVID for two years, you know, we deserve to go out and have a bunch of drinks or go out for dessert with the girls or whatever. Um, we deserve these things. And um, so the, in the podcast, we, they were talking about um, how that word is just kind of funny when it comes to doing things with your diet that is going to set you back. Um, when you go out and you have an ice cream sundae because you deserve it, um, are you actually doing something that your body deserves? Are you actually serving your body? Um, are you putting yourself ahead on the health spectrum? Or are you putting yourself a couple of steps back? Um, but if you think about it, like there's another word that you can use as a, as a synonym is earn. So earn is you work for something and you earn something. So you go to work, you earn a paycheck. You do, um, you mow a lawn, you earn the cash for that, right? It's a transactional thing. And I think when we, um, if we think about our terminology when we are trying to treat ourselves, and there's nothing wrong with treating yourself, taking care of yourself, but let's align those thoughts a little bit better. So I'd like a treat, so what am I gonna do? So think, I would challenge you to think of some um, some non-food treats. What can you do for yourself that you enjoy thoroughly that doesn't include like this massive insulin spike because you've spiked your, your glucose so high uh, by having alcohol or a, a hot fudge sundae that's way too big for three people to eat uh, or something like that. Um, so maybe for example you could go read a book in the quiet somewhere um, by yourself without your kids. Maybe you could go get yourself a healthy coffee, um, something that aligns with your dietary restrictions or what you try to do um, on a day-to-day -day basis and go for a drive or go for a hike with a friend. Like, go do something that is not food related. You deserve a treat? Then treat your body like you care about her, right? How, like, I know when I'm done eating that off-plan thing, I am going to hurt I'm gonna have a headache, my stomach's gonna be cramping, I'll probably be bloated a couple pant sizes too big. You know, I just don't feel good when I indulge in those types of things. Um, so if you know that about yourself, don't do it. You don't have to. It's okay to say no to those kinds of treats. You deserve to feel healthy. When we go about 
our mental thought process. I would, you know, I would challenge you to say, what does this action get me in return? So like, is fasting consistently is going to improve my metabolism or improve my metabolic health, right? Or eating only full meals instead of snacking all throughout the day is going to limit my insulin spikes to those few full good meals. Eating low carb helps me improve such and such. Like, so when I eat low carb or stay keto, my inflammation level is down significantly. When I do not stick to the keto plan, my inflammation rises immediately. Like the very next day, I hurt all the way down to my toes, like the joints in my toes. It's, it's insane. Like, so I know the negative consequences that treating myself can have. So I would challenge you, as I did challenge the group, um, to not pressure yourself to treat yourself when you've done good for a week. When you've done good for a week, treat yourself with a big ribeye steak and a good hunk of butter. Like, enjoy that, right? There are things that you can have that fuel your body and make you feel good versus the things that, you know, they're part of your past. So that's basically what we covered in our keto support group this week. And um, it was really fun, again, to see all the people come out to just kind of talk about health and nutrition and what's going on in their lives. And I'm looking forward to continuing to get to know these people a little bit better and hopefully encouraging them along their journey. And they're already encouraging me. Um, it's just, it's so nice to not be alone. So I hope that if you're maybe in a spot where you feel like you're in this alone, you're not alone. Like I'm with you and there are lots of other people that you may not see, but you're not alone. It's worth, um, your health is worth sticking to it. Stick it, stick it out, you won't regret it. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, let me know what you think we should talk about, our keto support group. Um, I am always looking for more things to talk about. And uh, if anything here was helpful, please comment below and let me know. I hope wherever you are today, you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you soon, friends.